Hey Love Listers! I am super happy to make this video for you today because it's about my favorite subject when it comes to cold emailing. Intro lines. I'm not even kidding. Intro lines are awesome. Why? Because your intro line determines whether your prospect is hooked or clicks your email away after opening it. It's where you start creating actual relationships with your prospects and where you can set your emails apart from all of the other ones landing in your audience inboxes. If you want to become a cold email superstar, all you need to do is to keep watching. If not, then at least keep watching for this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started by promising each other this. Repeat after me. Never ever will I ever write this kind of email again. You might think, but why? It's personalized with first name and company name. Should be good, no? Simply throwing some variables in there isn't going to do the job though. Everyone does it. Wanna know what happens when I receive this kind of email? If you're going to personalize your intro line with traditional variables, do it in a creative and meaningful way. You can do it either in your copy or by adding personalized photos or videos to your email. It adds a super personal touch and it will make your email stand out from the crowd. This one here, for example, is one of our top performers. It's super simple, but it's super effective. It only contains one variable, first name, but being a personalized photo already adds an impression of the person who's contacting you and also plays with a familiar context. Having coffee with someone. There is no strings attached and it's simply a nice exchange. It adds a human touch to your email and also gives an idea of whom is contacting you. The personalized coffee cups with your name on them makes it feel like you actually know each other and it's a nice way to start a conversation. We have a dedicated video on how to add personalized images to your lamb list campaigns, so don't hesitate to check it out. When it comes to pimping up your copy when using just a few variables for personalization, such as first name and company name, and maybe podcast name, make sure that you nail your targeting for your campaign in order to make sure that you create a relevant intro line for all of the people that you're contacting and that it still feels like a personal message. As you can see in this example, there is only three variables used until the pitch, but it is still super relevant for all of the people that are targeted with this campaign because the targeting has been done correctly. It also offers a really nice transition to the pitch, so it still feels super personalized. If you're in tech, you can also leverage tools like BuiltWith to find out what technologies each of the companies you're contacting uses. So for example, Shopify, Intercom, Google Analytics, all that you want to do is to go on Built With and enter the name of the company that you're searching for in the search bar, click search, and then you will see all of the different technologies this company is using. I also included the link to Built With in the description, so go ahead and check it out. If your company proposes a tech tool, for example, this can give you plenty of inspiration to create your interline. Depending on the context of your campaign, you can craft a catchy and relevant interline. For example, hey first name, I noticed that you're using technology one and technology two at company name. I was wondering if you have built integrations with each of these technologies. Also, if the leads that you're contacting have their own YouTube channels, it can be super effective to talk about it in the intro line, as it shows that you've done your research, which will significantly increase the likelihood of your audience being interested. As you can see, this is super simple personalization, but if you have done your target segmentation the right way, and if you spend a bit of time on writing your intro line in a catchy way, this kind of approach works out really well. This campaign actually achieved an open rate of 81% and a reply rate of 23%. What always works wonders are intro lines based on common interests. For example, I came across your blog, blah, 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 and I couldn't agree more with your views on effective copywriting. I'm also creating content around this subject and recently conducted an exhaustive SEO research, I would be keen on sharing my results with you. What would be the chair on top of the cake for this intro line is a personalized image that shows a screenshot of your target's work. It adds proof that you actually checked out their content and also adds a personal touch to your email. Another amazing resource for your intro lines are social networks, especially LinkedIn. You can just go on your prospect's LinkedIn profile, check out their profile and their latest activity. For example, you can create this kind of intro line. Hi, first name, just came across your LinkedIn profile profile and I can see that you've worked as a job title at company name. Well done for your career. Simple but effective. Plus the pitch is well connected to the intro line so it feels like an actual personal email despite minimal personalization. LinkedIn activity is also a goldmine for intro line material and will help shoot your reply rates all the way to the moon. To the moon! Just make sure that you use this only for leads who are actually active on LinkedIn because 
otherwise it will fail completely. All right, let's say I go on Simon's profile right here. On his latest posts, I can see that they recently launched a super cool project called Lem Hero, and I'll watch his YouTube video that he posted about to find out what it's about. That gives me so much material to personalize my approach to contact him in the most relevant way possible. Also, if you're using Lamlist, you can use the Chrome extension to directly import your lead into the app and even with a personalized icebreaker. So let's say I want to import Simon into my campaign. I can just click on the Lamlist Chrome extension and here I can choose the campaign that I want to import my lead in. And here I can add my personalized icebreaker, which says I've been following your activity on LinkedIn for a while now and I saw your video about Lem Hero. I'm super impressed by the work you've done and the way that you're revolutionizing B2B sales at Lemlist. I simply had to reach out to you. Here, once this is done, I can just check that everything is great and say great. And now my lead will directly be imported into my campaign on Lemlist. As you can see here on Lemlist, I just clicked on leads and I can see Simon in my leads list. So if I click on it, I can also see my icebreaker that I just wrote on the Chrome extension. In a nutshell, this shows that you actually know whom you're contacting and that you took the time to inform yourself about their activities. Who doesn't like the compliments? Just make sure that they're genuine and don't sound like you're just trying to make a sale. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks! <laughs> That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. I'm gonna tell you a secret. The strategy I just showed you is incredibly effective because it consists in writing an entire personalized icebreaker for each of your leads. At Lamlist, we call it the tiramisu strategy. And guess what? I'm gonna share another secret with you. The best way to go is to have two tiramisu tags. So two personalized sentences with a generic sentence in the middle. Let me show you an example. This campaign helped us book super relevant guests for a podcast because we made sure to hyper-personalize our outreach to them. It scored a 91% reply rate, which is simply amazing. As you can see here in the sequence editor, we start by showing that we've done our research by explaining in detail what made us contact our prospect. We then explain how this connects to our current project, so our webinars, and then add another personalized sentence to propose the content that we would like to create with them. Now here you can only see the tiramisu variables that we've added, but let me show you what this looks like in the review section. So with the tiramisu variables being replaced with the values that we entered for each lead. To do this, all that you have to do is to add a column to your CSV file with the exact variable names that you're using in your sequence editor and upload your leads. So here you can see we added tiramisu one and tiramisu two. I replaced the actual leads with random examples for privacy reasons. However, I think that the compliment around my incredible swag is quite legit. Remember, you don't want to sell your product with your cold email. What you want to achieve with your cold emailing campaigns is to create a relationship with your prospects and to book a meeting. Meeting? Yeah, a meeting. And I think we can all agree on the fact that we generally build relationships with people whom we care about and who care about us. So take the time to understand your prospects' interests and pain points and craft relevant intro lines. It helps you qualify your leads and then move on to selling your product or service in the conversations following your cold email. Also, yes, it does take some more time to create your sequence, but it really pays off. As I mentioned before, we generated reply rates up to 91% thanks to our amazing tiramisu strategy. If you're looking for inspiration on where to find information about your targets, don't hesitate to check out our dedicated video. As per the usual, I will not ask you to like and subscribe here at Lamlist. We do things differently. So if you like this video, I dare you to like and subscribe. Yes, I dare you. If you don't like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll have to eat a whole mouthful of crackers and then try and whistle your national anthem. And then send the video to charlotte at lamlist.com. Our Lamartyr R1 did it, so not liking and subscribing and not doing the dare, bad for your karma. Wow. <laughs> 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 What? <laughs> 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 
Well, let's just say he tried and that's what really counts, doesn't it? Don't hesitate to write a comment on this video or contact me on LinkedIn should you have any questions or any wishes about future content on the channel. In the meantime, stay amazing and I'll see you in the next video.